Hi everyone, it's me, Backmaster1991 again. I know it's been a few days, like I can't remember how long it's been since I made a video, but anyway, hope you had a great Christmas and New Year's. I've been busy with other stuff, but I have the Hoover Dual Power Max Pet Expert Carpet Cleaner. I got this at Walmart. And news, tomorrow, Wednesday, I'm going to be doing a huge cleaning job with this Hoover. I'm going to someone's house, and I'm taking the Dyson Kinetic Big Ball and this Hoover, and I'm gonna be vacuuming and shampooing their carpet. It's super dirty, it's super messy. It's been maintained with like a Walmart Bissell for like, I don't know, three years. Haven't shampooed, but anyway, performance cleaning for your whole home, a two year warranty, dual tanks for separate clean and dirty water, unlike the Bissells, they have the single tank. Any microbial power brushes and edge bristles, any microbial upholstery tool and eight foot hose. Let's go in the back, they have more info. The clean boost trigger for super soiled areas. The two tanks, as I said, lightweight, less than 18 pounds. The heated cleaning, it blows hot air onto the floor. Has great for pets, spots and stains, heat, stairs and upholstery, whole home cleaning. It includes, of course, the shampoo itself, any microbial upholstery tool, eight foot hose, mesh storage bag, Sample bottle of Hoover cleaning solution. Here's some pictures of it. It's got the dual power brushes, 13 inch nozzle, all that sort of stuff. Anyway, I am going to, I know the box is kind of in bad condition, but this is the only one they had. And I didn't have the time to just start messing around with other stores, but I made sure to ask someone to confirm that it's not used. And it's not, so here we go. So here's this, here is the, here's the tool, I think I have lots of these tools now. It's just the standard upholstery tool. Get this hose out, here it is. So one design I love about this is that instead of having multiple different things to do, you just plugs in in one go. It doesn't have a separate little solution thing hanging out that you have to plug in somewhere. You just pop it into the shampooer. And of course it's got the Hoover Universal Tools, that little trigger, brushes, you know, all that stuff. So here comes, I don't know what snacks told me. Find out. Good inspiration. It looks like it's just all gonna come out in one. Okay. Oh, there's the solution. I was wondering where it was. Quality's pretty good. It's got that usual handle. Oh yeah, they taped the clean tank to the machine. Let's see what solution they gave me. Expert pet carpet washer detergent. I'm just gonna use that up here little six, 12 ounce bottle. Usually bigger than the six to eight ounce bottle that you get with the Bissell. Oop, there's the storage bag. Wow, okay. Here's this carpet cleaner. We'll place that there. Of course, nozzle comes off. Nozzle's pretty nice. It's a wide nozzle. I don't want the 15 inch, that's too big. It means I won't be able to fit it in between any of my furniture. Nice stiff bristles. A lot of bristles, if you can tell. There's brushes here. Brushes there, there's brushes on here, there's brushes there, there's brushes here, there's brushes everywhere. Brushy, brushy, brushy. So I don't think I need a screwdriver. I think you just pop it into place and then you just rotate the dial. Okay, that was simple. Now I'm gonna pop this tape off. Now I'm gonna roll this cord up. It's a nice cord, it's a vacuum cord, I mean. Oh, 
I'm not gonna, this is gonna take too long to unravel, so I'm just gonna cut it with a pair of scissors. That's off. How big is the motor? 10 amps. It's better than the five and a half of a vissel. It's a little more suction power and airflow to pick up more water. I think the cord's like 20 feet or something. I always save these. My cat likes to play with them. I know my cat is extremely weird. Yeah, he plays with the little, where did I put it? Plays with these little caps that come with the carpet cleaners and vacuums. So here it is. I'm gonna check out. Nice tank. I think you put two of these little capfuls in for detergent. Goodness gracious. Nice big water tank. These two things. Does this actually oh my god. That is, that is pretty well sealed in there. Oh my goodness. Nice thick seal holding it in place. Not gonna leak. Water separator right here. The little float. That stops water from going into the motor. Which all carpet cleaners have. At least I hope. It tips over. There's the hose connection. Okay, that's how you put it in there. I really have to angle it. So this shampoo reminds me of the Bissell Pro Heat Revolution. Looks a lot like one. Most Hoovers has this, have the spin scrub, but this one's got the power brushes. So I'm gonna hose and lap. Oh my goodness, that's a snug fit right there. And of course, you just use this. And of course, again, another thing I like, the hose is detachable. Unlike on the Bissells, if the hose breaks, you have to take it to a repair shop and get the hose replaced. Which of course is ridiculous. On this, all you have to do is get a new, buy a new hose because it detaches. On the Bissells, as I said, you'd have to take it to a repair shop because the hose doesn't come off. Like, as a normal person, you take it off. You'd have to have some like, vacuum skills or whatever to do that. So I'm gonna wrap this hose up inside of the little storage bag. Instructions, how to use, assembly, of course it's easy. I already watched videos on how to assemble. It's like two steps, tools, 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 and more tools. Anyway, let's see what the power button is. This thing is a little heavier than I expected. Of course, there's the handle release. like okay the wheels are held on by metal not plastic belt access is right here there's the little tube that sprays the solution 
I'm not even sure where the solution comes out. No, actually, I think that's it. No? I don't even know where the solution comes out. That's kind of interesting. I really don't know. Let's see if I can find where the solution comes out. Okay. Well, the tube comes from here. Then, I really don't know. I just don't know where the solution comes out. It's got to come from somewhere, of course. It's probably up underneath these little gray things, of course. So everyone, stay tuned. I will be cleaning this area up here. I gotta vacuum it first, of course, because you can't suck up pet hair into a carpet cleaner, which I always see reviews online reading these. My carpet cleaner clogged with hair. I'm like, really lady, really dude? You don't suck up hair into a carpet cleaner. Carpet cleaner is not made to suck up hair or large chunks of dirt. It's made to clean up like mud. Like stuff that, like small little fine particles deep in the carpet. Not stuff that a vacuum can get out. So you can't just buy a carpet cleaner with no vacuum. That wouldn't work. You know, of course, I have tons of vacuums, so I won't have that problem. But I like this little hose attachment right here. It's pretty nice. So stay tuned. As I said, I will be testing this Hoover carpet cleaner. I'll just use the solution that it came with. Stay tuned, everyone. Thank you.